Have you ever seen a machine tool with milling tools in one side and five automatically tool changeable gun drills in the other? Well, we're gonna have a sit down with Carlos and find out why you want a machine like this. We've come to Cheto in Portugal and they're a machine builder that have been going since 2009. They've only been going for, what is that, 14 years. It's absolutely amazing. We like it. You like it, exactly. So I'm here with Carlos, who's the managing director, and we're here in one of your IXN machines now, Carlos. And these are a fascinating construction. There are actually tool, two kinds of tool changes for two very different kinds of operations. Yeah. But what are those operations and what kind of parts do they make? What are the applications? So here, here you can find a hybrid machine. So it's like a concept that you can buy in a, the most known for us that is the deep hole drilling process but you, do, you can also can have the, the, the milling operation so everything you you can imagine in three plus two axis milling we can do it so, absolutely and this is these are not small components either as you can see this machine is three meters in the x-axis absolutely massive but what kind of components are they that people will be clamping down onto this bed so if you imagine a car and if you, if you imagine a bumper so it's a bumper, it's a huge a plastic part. So imagine the molds that you need to, to build those parts. So here we can have pieces with 3.5 meters and you can rotate it inside. So even you can load 30 tons here. So imagine it's a huge, it's a huge block. Oh my God, 30 tons of steel. And that's going to be steel. punching out door bumpers or door, uh, car doors. Yeah. Um, I guess they'll be making loads of those components. But what yeah. are the problems associated with manufacturing a, a component like that? What kind of things do you have to do? And why would you need a Cheto machine for those, those operations? Yeah, okay, so the, that option is always from the client, of course, but the, one of the things that, that you can expect it exactly to do that kind of work easily. So you need accuracy, you need the, to speed up your process, and of course, this is exactly the right machine to do it because the cinematic is amazing. You can reach almost every place of the tool, so it's it's easy to to use also. Yeah, easy to access the component, and that's why you need such a big space inside so it can yeah, rotate around you know, and access you know, every side. You know, in Europe, you have the CE safety rules, and so the big the big uh, cover we have here, it's exactly because you cannot work with high pressure with a lot of coolant and a lot of hair going inside with this open. So, uh, and even this is also an advantage of our machines. They are full enclosure and you can work with coolant. Coolant, it's nice because you mix the oil and the water. So it means uh, you have la less problems with the environment. You have no risk of fire using this machine. So it's a, it's a big advantage for the client. Discuss what would, what would a customer be doing if they didn't have a Cheta machine, but needed one? What would their traditional process look I like? I have to be honest. I think most of the clients who don't have a Cheta machines I think they have a problem, really. <laughs> okay, I mean, you would say that though, Carlos, let's be honest. But why do they have a problem? So, uh, most of them, okay, they, they know the process, some of them, but some of them, they keep old machines, you know, old equipments. They are not, uh, I will say, ready for high pressure or for a high volume of uh, coolant through the spindle. So, we have a lot of benefits, mechanical and also technical, that helps them to, um, you know, to. to to be running as fast as they can, okay? Here the important is, okay, you make an investment, but you have the return on investment. So we focus on that also. It's not only selling a process that can help them to, to see the, the process uh, going inside the plant and you have a flow, okay? But at the same time, you have benefits to use it. So uh, we want to see that way. And our clients, we know our clients. We know how they work. We know how they want to work. And they like our product. And of course, if they like our product, we are winning the market, so uh, we are happy. And you've got a lot of experience, you and yourself, yourself and your technical director, uh, Sergio, yeah. um, have got a lot of experience in machining and, and running machines. Um, and what are those operations, what are those ROIs? I mean, what is the problem with a traditional way of making these kinds of parts? Yeah, if we see the, the, the whole process probably 30 years ago, you see the bottleneck of the mold production was exactly the water lines. So the people, they take a lot of time. Those cooling lines that go yeah, all the way the through the cooling lines, you have a lot of hours. Even today you see many, many companies using the old boring machines to make the drilling. And okay, we call it the poor jobs, okay? The poor jobs, it's the one that you don't see it. The one that no one wants to do because they don't see the value the clients, in it. clients, but old mold makers, they see it. And that is a reality. So today you start to see people, they're making the first try out of the, of the mold, but they already have the coolant lines made. In the past, usually that was impossible. Okay. What means? It means the technology grows, the tooling uh, also helps to, to, uh, to that, but you also need a good machine. Okay? Absolutely. You must and the machine with, uh, in this case, this machine has seven axes, so you have, 
you can go wherever you want. I noticed on your website, your, your machines, they are minimum five axis, five, six, and seven Correct. as standard. There are no three axis Cheto machines because no you need to access all of those different angles, Correct. compound angles, but hit them with a good accuracy. Yeah. Uh, and that's what you get from a Cheto machine.